Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit, but it's time to chat about my karyotype results. Um, today, a few things are happening. So first, I wanted to tell you my karyotype results. All right, so the results are in, and my karyotype was normal. <sighs> Which is, like, cool, but also... Seriously? <laughs> At this point, we're just in this process of wanting freaking answers. Whether that means something is wrong with me or Anthony or whatever, we just we just want to know. So, unfortunately, but also fortunately, nothing was wrong with me. So today we are actually heading to get Anthony's blood drawn for his karyotype results. So, fun times. I'm gonna go do that. I think the results will be another three-ish weeks. That's how long it took for me to get my results. Um, I don't know. I feel very annoyed and discouraged that so far we have not found anything. But I'm not giving up yet, obviously. <laughs> We're gonna go test Anthony and see what his results are. And then um, I started taking some progesterone a few days ago to induce a new cycle um so that we can get this show on the road for the endometrial biopsy um so hopefully i'll be having that biopsy done um in july and we can see if we've got any inflammation in the uterus i feel like a lot is happening but at the same time i feel like nothing is happening <laughs> i just want to get the show on the road but one step at a time trying to just focus on what i can control which isn't much but i don't know i got the itch the other day to like want to do a transfer i was like oh my gosh i'm so sick of waiting i just want to do a transfer i just want to do this i just want things to work out and i gotta like you know have some self-awareness i know those feelings are coming from jealousy because since covid restrictions are kind of lifting like i know a lot of people that are preparing to do medicated cycles and ivf and transfers and like they're all doing them right now and i'm just like what about me i want to do it too but i can't think like that which is hard so we're gonna go ahead to get anthony's karyotyping on our way to get the hubby's blood drawn how do you feel about it How'd you feel when my results came back as normal? I don't know. I was happy, but then again, just like, well, damn. I want something to be wrong so we can like fix it or just know how to move forward too. So just not finding answers and going head first again. Having the same thing happen every time. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. Um, then again, I don't want anything wrong with you. Wrong with I know. Or me, but I mean. It's like a double-edged sword. Like I want something to be wrong, but also like then something's wrong with me or you so I mean I kind of think your results will come back normal but there's like maybe like a 1% of me that's like well maybe not what do you think I don't know <laughs> it could be something wrong with me this whole time because we haven't really checked me a lot yeah All that's we did true. is check like my sperm like that's it that's true and then the rest has been like Kelsey 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 when I'm like what if it was like well obviously I have other issues other than miscarriages but I don't know maybe we just are horrible partners <laughs> so we got this test on me then your your uh, biopsy yes then we'll see we'll, we'll go from there I was gonna ask your opinion on camera so the folks can hear um, if your karyotype comes back normal and mine is obviously normal, what do you, what's your opinion on what we should do with our embryos? Unthaw and test or leave them alone? They're just like, part of me wants to unthaw and test, part of me just wants to wing it. I know. Just put them in. It's super risky, super expensive, and 
I mean, not to be super negative, but there are plenty of instances where genetically normal embryos still don't work. Yeah. Like, for example, Brecklin was normal. Like, we've had a chromosomal analysis on a baby. She was normal and still didn't pan out. So, I'm not super convinced that genetically testing will help our case. Especially if your tests come back normal. Now, if you come back abnormal, I might feel a little more inclined to do it. Um, but it's all up in the air right now. It's very daunting and I hate how huge these decisions are. And I hate how how people think it's just like, well, just do it, just do it. I'm like, you realize all six of our embryos could die in the process and then we flush $7,000 down the drain and have no embryos left. Like, it, it's not, it's not easy and it's freaking scary, so. We need to put two more in next time or just one? <laughs> yeah, that was another thing. <laughs> this doctor is like very gung-ho, one embryo at a time. And my last doctor was like, let's do two every time. And so, I don't know, it makes me nervous only doing one. But then again, obviously twins have all their own risks. But I was willing to take those. But this doctor doesn't seem as open-minded. That's another thing I want to talk to him about soon. Is like, what is an FET protocol going to be like with you? Like, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many questions. So, we shall see. So, in the meantime... Let's go get your blood taken. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> right. Good luck. I'll yeah. be here. Uh, you might want to turn the car off. Okay. Then okay. back on so it doesn't kill the battery. I don't think it will. Thanks. You know me. Thanks for all that. <laughs> there he goes. Bye. The deed is done. The blood is taken. <laughs> and he's cussing. Okay. Anyways. Can't get out of here. <laughs> we'll report back when we have the results in who knows how freaking long. <laughs>